Hello everyone, just doing what we always do, checking we're live. Yeah. Silver Cell file. Richard Chapman's helping me, because I'm an idiot. We're live? No, that's an old one. I think that's got to get rid of that. I think you that's right. Oh, we are, we are. I can't see it, but I'm going to go with you. Definitely live? Oh, yeah. two, two people watching already. Right, so. okay. Right, we're live. Right. Okay. Yeah, go for it, Tom. Right. Silver Silver Farm, everyone. Which is basically, Jade, you're going to tune into the wrong game tonight. So who's it? Who's tuning in on? Jade Oaks. Yeah, this is a better game, Jade. You'll enjoy this more. So they're lagging to see which team will be the away team. Rugrats, I think, won the lag. They'll be the away team. Yeah, winning the lag, winning the lag to be the away team means you get the first breaks. This is confusion for anyone there. So now the formalities of the lag are out of the way, they're going to select some teams. I'm going to have to just part with my voice for a little while whilst I do that. For anyone tuning in that doesn't know, this is the Silver Salva Cup final. We've also got the playoff final going on up here tonight as well between um, Bells and uh, Elton Terrace Nuthouse. Uh, the stream table is table six tonight, which is why the Nuthouse are not on it, because it's their home table. We have uh, on your screen there, that's, that's, that's Chris, uh, and Angie's the other one, they're doing the Roman referees along with Tony Frost. You'll see them on camera a little bit as we go around. Otherwise, it's me and uh, Paul Gaffer in the commentary to look after you this evening. Right, on the other table, there's a playoff game between uh, the Bears and Elton Terrace Nuthouse. That's to decide who gets in the Premier League. We'll try and keep you updated with what's going on there. It's on table nine. And yes, there is an echo in the room. He's already said that, right? I shut my face up. I've been making sure the camera don't get uh, booted. And I've got my doubts it, it may well do tonight, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, there we go. Yeah. 
Selfie, Selfie, 8 1 to the Falcon Wood. Yeah, it's a bold prediction. Yeah. Right, how's this frame looking? It's looking a little bit cagey at the minute. Yeah. Neither, neither player's really got much to go at and not letting the other one have a, have a look at anything. Yeah, open table. I think Reds look slightly more favourite, don't they? Jamie yeah, they, they did. Jamie had the first go at that, and he just didn't quite get the one he wanted, and just left it a little bit cagey. I think he'll have a go at this long one. I think it's got, I think it's got value, really. Yeah, yeah he's got options to run through for two at the top. He's contract quite in the red, I think. But I think you're right, mate. No. Not there. That's the chance now for Ashley to get in. Bit of an edgy start, I guess that's to be expected when you're playing in the final. So did you tell them this is the plate final for the Founders' Cup, effectively? Uh, I didn't explain what Silver Salvo right, was Right, well that's, about, that's, but that's yeah, terrible right, Richard, that's terrible. Uh, We're looking for uh, another commentator, if anyone wants to my, my, my knowledge of the Silver Salvo is very limited, having never played it. Ah, well, whereas mine on the other day is... <laughs> Is, uh, I'm extremely knowledgeable about it because I'm always planning it. Uh, this is like the plate final for our main team knockout. Uh, so the teams that get knocked out in the first or second round, they get the chance to go in the silver salver. Uh, and it gives, you know, perhaps an unfancied team a chance to win something. Both teams are in the, are in the Premier League. Uh, Rugrats had a good season, eventually finishing fourth, fell away at the end. But the Falconwood finished sixth, I believe, and uh, stayed up on the final day of the season. So it should be quite an even game, I think. I think the Rugrats are favourites, but but uh, uh, Falcon would get going. They could be a handful, as Pickwick found out last week. Yeah, the Falcon would have brought their full squad tonight as well, which uh, yeah will help them. Nice, uh, Bobby nice Sorry, go tempted position. Uh, we got the tallest man in the room standing uh, underneath the camera with a cap on. With a cap on. <laughs> Lucky he's not wearing his bowler hat, I suppose. Of him. Right. That's it. Next time you see him, he'll be playing. Yeah, be a couple of inches shorter. Oh. So, um, see what Jamie's going to do here. Well, there is a shot of just. Knocking the yellow down towards the pocket and leave the cube. Yeah, next to the black. black, yeah. I think that's the most obvious shot, isn't it? There's some value in that, so it's not an easy thing to get out of. And there are pots on as well, so you could uh, certainly play this yellow down the bottom cushion off the red. Is he going to. Is he looking for some loss of turn shot? having a good look at that red I think to see what he can do with it. I'm not sure if he's looking to play the loss of turn with the yellow next to two reds is he? I think if he's going to play a loss of turn then he could open up the two on the side cushion and come down onto it. Yeah, yeah that's uh, yeah he's uh or is he looking at a plant I'm not sure what, what Jamie's looking at. Maybe he's even looking at the snooker behind him possibly. Yeah, possibly Which yeah. wouldn't be, that wouldn't be a bad shot because that opens him two yellows up. It does leave it difficult as well, not an easy get out. No, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Jamie White, I'll give you the uh, top player for um, Falcon Wood. Uh, arguably, Ashley Houston is for the uh, Rugrats, so it's a good match up. It's all subjectional anyway, isn't it? Like, you know. 
absolutely. It's, uh, You see Jimmy Maloney's watching, it's a shame that you can't play this Jimmy, but hopefully it won't be too long mate before you're um, old enough to play at Elton yeah. Terrace. It's nice that Dylan Suggers is watching also on camera as well as right next to the table. Yeah, he don't want to miss nothing that boy. No. I he's thought he might have been at the bar, but he's not, he's actually front row next to the table. No, it's a big shot coming here. That's, that's, a, that's a decent loss of turn. Yeah, Jamie's played that quite well. Actually, under a little bit of pressure here, a good shot. Yeah, anything he plays now is potentially opening up the balls as well. So he's, he's played a good shot to leave him tricky. Yeah. Yeah, he'd do quite well to get this completely safe, I would think. I think if Jamie plays three games tonight, Tony, he's probably not wanting to. He probably wanted to get it out of the way pretty quickly, but. Good luck to him. <laughs> Scott Foley's watching. We haven't seen Scott for a little while in this league. Uh, he's put two yellows safe. It's uh, not bad. No, I think he's left these all on. What do you think it's a dislodge? Do you think red into the yellows? Play the yellow into the left pocket. Dislodge oh, no, red into the yellows. I'm thinking red was on the big bar. No, it's, it's yellows, isn't it? Sorry. I was confused with the fact that we haven't done the night. Ah, oh, right. Okay. The, uh, the colours are Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's a very good. Well done, Richard. So you're not, you're not just a pretty face, are you? No, oh, no, that's wrong. Yeah, you touch that button. That's lovely, mate. Yeah, apologies here, not cool. putting the colours on. So, uh, we'll rectify that in the next one. Yeah. We'll a bit more earlier. We've only just finished setting up on a nick of time here to get this, get this on tonight. Actually uh, coming from Elton Terrace tonight. Probably the, our best venue in the league. Technical going on there. Something flashed up on our screen that we didn't like the look of. So if you can see this yellow next to the red, or in between the reds, I should say, enough to put it up towards the top pocket, there's a possible chance. I don't think it goes in the middle. I don't think it goes to the top, but um, we'll see. He's just played a well, he's clean played shot. Oh right, okay, I missed that. No, I just flicked off the yellow by the uh, pocket and <laughs> came down to where it is now. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, we got we got off for of drinks and uh, my concentration <laughs> got sidetracked a bit there. There you go, you've got a big fan here, Tony Wolf's a big fan of yours, mate. Hey, he's a good lad, Tony. Yeah, this, is, yeah. this is a good tactical battle, this, between these two guys. No quarter given yet so far, they're both hanging in there, digging in. Yeah, see, the uber aggressive shot here is to play the bottom red as a double and screw back to the yellow and play the red in the opposite middle. Yeah, as big as your house, though, isn't it? Shot by Jamie. That's a good part. Yeah, I'm not sure we've got any value out of it. I think he just brings his shield out and leaves the white on top of it. I think this is a uh, leave it awkward. Yeah, I think that's all he's got on it. He'd, be, he'd like to f f use the jaws of the pocket to just nudge him behind, but it's a bit, a bit of a touchy shot. The camera angle's a bit deceptive. I don't know how easy that is. Yeah, it's very deceptive because you can't see it. Yeah. There we go. So hopefully you don't hear any expletives tonight, but I apologise if you do. It shouldn't be but from the commentators. To be fair, Ryan Francis is in the room, so you might hear a few. <laughs> well, he's not playing, so... 
And apparently he's on the other side of the room and he can still be heard. Right, now then. As he go top right, bottom left, uh, yellow in the middle. That's where he's going. Top right, bottom left, yellow in the middle. No, he's not. He's going to contain him. This is, the, this is the quietest I've seen Jamie play for a little while. He's normally amongst the balls. But each frame dictates how you've got to play, so, you know, can't be crash bang wallop on our yeah. Can you announce to the crowds that there'll be some fun joining the commentary box at some oh, yeah. point? Louis here. Right, so that'll be all for tonight, people. We'll see you at the next time. I've got my question. I've got my question ready. Yeah, Louis's not question been in of the, the night is ready. Louis's not in the uh, commentary box for a uh, fair while, yeah. so for the second stint, he's, he's not, he, he, been, he, not, he, not been available for these events for a while. Yeah, and he ain't been on time either. No, not, again, not a bad shot by Ashley. Yeah. I don't know if it's completely by design, but uh, it'll take it. Now, I'm struggling to see a shot here. Yeah? I'm seeing, I'm seeing a, a yellow onto red, lost a turn, and then the cue ball can be brought back behind the black. Yeah, that's not, yeah. Again, it's big though, but yeah, maybe that's all you've got. Again, you might be right. There's not a lot of shots that uh, are there. Yeah, he's urged you. <laughs> Not quite got the cue ball right in behind the rear, in behind the black, which means he's left this double, which he could top through to get onto the black. No, uh, it will, um, surely, it'll, I can't see. We'll have to have a look. <laughs> A little bit of royalty just tuned in. That's Phoebe French, our current ladies singles champion. Oh, I thought you meant Gary Mason. Well, I'm... Uh, that went in, by the way. That was a uh, to Rugrats. We'll just do a bit of admin here. Go quiet for a bit. We'll be back in a second now. Oh, right, um, financial year's coming to an end, having a new one starting. So if anyone wants to advertise on these streams or on our website, £30 for the whole year will get you, will get you, get you on the streams, get you on the um, website. You probably only need to make get one customer if you've got a business, or one bit of a, one bit of business coming to you, probably pays for itself. Uh, and be part of the SLKPA family, so please do that. Guest only fans, Paige has gone through the roof since he advertised. Yeah, exactly. Right. He's, he's got six customers. Now. Yeah, and one of those is a girl as well. But anyway, we'll go on to the next one. Um, like always, easy fundraising. Please join it. Please support us every time you spend a penny online. Every time you spend a, some money online, then we, um, you know, the league make a little bit of money. So I can't, can't uh, ask you enough times really to join this, but, but please do.
Right. Okay. Second so, frame. Second frame, and uh, both teams have put their second best player out. We have for the Falcon Wood, it's Nafti going to break. Yep. He's playing Shane O'Reilly. Oh, yes, I forgot about Shane. Yeah, Shane. Another good matchup between two good players. Yeah, both teams are going top heavy in the first one, which to get an advantage. Yeah, yeah. It's a big break from that. Yeah, if he catches him, he can certainly give him a wallop. I fancy Reds, Richard. What about you? Yeah, they look favourable. There's one awkward one on the side, which can be got to. I think this one probably, if he plays to the left, bottom as we're looking, probably could come up the table for the three in the middle. Yeah, he's getting right. striped. He's decided well, to good. find the only gap on the table. Do you know what? I reckon if he can... If he, he would can never do that a shot again if he tried. <laughs> they say go after your tough ball as quick as you can and it's certainly one of them I think. Well, it's, gonna, it's just going to open everything up really if he can make this plant. I don't think the plant's the problem. The, the, the ball just comes away from the pocket. pocket yeah. Bit, which, uh, well, and you need your neck. And, and the angle he's left himself, he'd have to play it a little bit pacey. Yeah, because yeah, he's obviously going to finish in position. There's, there's, no, there's no major panic in just getting this one off the pocket, off the cushion, and done up the table behind the other three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's what he's done. That's quite a clever shot, really, I think. It's a good shot. Good to see Ashley Houston's won his frame and is now gone away to watch it on live stream. It's Connor. Oh yes, and Ashley, yeah. They are a funny bunch of these rugrats. They like to watch in two different versions. always a gap and that gap will be that yellow will go behind that red. behind that to be fair but yeah. he just caught that a bit too thin. He's got something for later on though he's probably putting it in the mixer there to muddle it all up. Gives him a, a shot somewhere you know down the line a little bit. Another cagey looking frame. This is not from the first two frames boding well to be in a dish fest tonight. Yeah, the, the picnic would have been quite at home here but they didn't make it. Where's Neff going in? Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad shot. Yes, do a yeah, chain, chain look for the loss of turn now. Yeah, it wasn't the easiest shot in the world to play. Thank you to all those tuning in. There's far too many to mention here, but uh, John Cochran's watching, Ra Hat's watching, Dan Einick's watching, many others as well. Is it Alex Dobbins watching? That is, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Glass in the past. Is a new pseudonym? Yeah, Shane's got a bit of work to do here, but... Yeah, I think, I think Nafty wants that keyboard to be going back behind the yellow there. Yeah. It's yeah. a good shot. I mean, a shot that was probably the right shot to play at that point. A lot of the reds are sitting out there. Got a yellow on the top of the table, we could go off the straight away if he wanted to. He could try that loss of terrain he was trying before. Ball in the middle? He can get into one in the middle, fair enough. Put one in the middle and get cracking on something. Well, he's, 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 found, he's found the knuckle and he's left Nafty with a chance. Here. He's I think, to go at. I think the Reddy's closest to is, is the hardest one, isn't it? It'll take a little bit of getting onto, but it's not impossible. If he really wanted to, he could play the one over the pocket now, come into the middle of the yellows and play it in the middle. 
Yeah, but a big ask, I think man. he's going to be out looking to do that later on in his uh, yeah. clearance. Yeah. This is, this is right. He's a little closer to this one than he wants to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he plays this one in the middle, he is nudging the, the black in towards the yellows, which won't help. <laughs> Exactly as you called it. And, uh, and you see him going up for these two at the top. Probably the one in the middle first, I was just run through behind near to the yellow on the side cushion. I think this clear up's getting messy now. He's, he's certainly chasing it, but it is still there. Yeah, sometimes you can be your own worst enemy doing this. But let's see, what do I know? I think, I think trying to hold for this one to the top right is a little bit tricky. Running through to play it in the, the right middle is probably the right shot there. Yeah, okay. Oh. Benefit of the doubt that he's actually doing that rather than miss and overhit the one to the top. What are you saying, Richard? What are you saying about him? Well, he was lining up the one to the right and he's going for the one in the middle. Yeah, well, he might be cross eyed, might There's he? the lines <laughs> read between them. <laughs> Just to let you know, Chris Powlett's in charge riffing tonight. He's timekeeping as well. And on the other table, we got Angie Hobbs is looking after the Nuthouse versus Bears game. I'll try and get you an update in the middle. In, in a minute. In a minute. Oh, so I mean, and so. there's the echo again. <laughs> so I don't know if this red goes around the back of these yellows, is it? I don't think so. No. Even if it does, I'm, I don't think that's got a. Um, if he wants to, he could play it hard, play it into the yellow as a free ball plant, and the red will pop out to the other side and what, keep walking well, out to the middle. Now, looks, again, that's. I think you're just trying to set something. Oh, 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 give Shane a bit of a. I think, advantage I think there's, no, there's no value in doing anything other than just popping this one at the top, uh, left hand side left off the cushion, yeah. and leaving a sleeper. Yeah, I reckon that's what he'll play. No major value anywhere else, I can't see. Just bring that yellow into play a little bit, a little bit more. He's not going to want to touch the two yellows next to the black, because no, that's no, so tying the black up. No, in Shane, he'll probably try and double it behind the yellow at the top right. <laughs> First extension. Referee on the ball doing the timekeeping as well tonight. Well, you know he's got Shane thinking because Shane's quite a fluid player. So if Shane's worrying about the time a little bit, he's uh Yeah, I'm not sure what to play that, but okay. Got to play it the way you see it, it's all very well. Uh, a bit of time, bit of time pressure there as well, to be fair, it's gone with what he's seen. Yeah, yeah. He's not exactly left anything easy. No, true enough. I just wouldn't have been happy with that black being open personally, but it's a, we all play the game a bit differently. Well, he may, you could argue he's maybe forced Nafty to try and get his uh, awkward yellow out, and then if that happens, they're all actually there to be gone at. Awkward red, yeah. Well, that's, that's, that would, <laughs> that's what frightens me. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Oh, I see what you mean. If the yellow comes into play, then Shane can clear, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying now. Sorry, yeah. Oh, that's that ain't right. bad. After he's found a, a nice little nudge there. Uh, we assume not, this red goes past the yellow into the pocket. I'm not sure he can hold, come out for black. Can, he, can he hold? I'm I, think sure. he, I think he comes out past the yellows to play a cut or a double. Yeah, I think he might, yeah. He could lose that white altogether, though. That could be down by that, that yellow on the, by the top right. But we'll see. It's all about the, the angle he's got, really. It's if, how steep it is. And I think sort of it's holding the ball. Yeah, yeah maybe. You might, you might be right, mate. You might be right. You might be playing a bit of right hand side, possibly. Well, it definitely oh, was over the ball. Yeah, I thought he'd be a lot further down that. So he's got to lift himself a shot. Now, this is to put the Falcon Wood at one all. It's not a gimme. Is a cut on it. I 
think he was going for the cut. Yeah, he was looking at the cut. He was on the, the cut. The double is on, obviously, but the cut is there. Uh, he's got it. He's nailed it. Good shot. That's one all. So we'll do what we normally do, and we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, on Terrace, this is where the, the final's coming from tonight. Um, probably the, the best tables in the league, that's why we're playing the finals here. We're just promoting the club, which helps us. New World Social Club, thank you very much for your sponsorship. We've, um, they, they sponsor the league in a big way. They, um, They've got their names on the result sheets and the it's called New Shop. Uh, hopefully, having these adverts on the streams, helping them get a bit of custom. It's good social nights down here, social club. Um, <laughs> that's why they're called a social club, I suppose. Now, I've heard the Friday nights, the weekend nights in there are really good. Like, like Lots of um, bands and music and stuff, and there's always good entertainment on. So if you get a chance, go down there and have a look and become a member. Go, Tom. Yeah. Alright, All right, so third frame. It's uh, Dylan Suggers breaking off. Playing Ian Stringer. That's a uh, cue ball gone in. So as soon as the ref retrieves the ball, as is his uh, duty. Ball behind the bolt line, so I'm sure he's been told. And we'll see what Ian does with this. Red's been the ball of choice. I thought he might have made a little break out of shot off the red there, but it's gone in clean. Option of playing a combination shot with a red to the bottom yellow. A couple more people tuning in there, good to see you earlier. Well, you can see this red down here, a bit of hammer queuing, but you can see it, you can obviously pot it. Maybe look to go into the little cluster on the right hand side. Uh, just move on through. So, Kim will do a bit of travelling in this uh, little sequence he's doing. So, iron up the red into the middle, left middle. Again, Kim will just drift in a little bit into the middle of the table if he does. Probably into the yellow, so no, no major harm done. up that red and yellow in the middle with the red and yellow sitting by the black as well I'm feeling a loss of turn shot coming on here possibly it's probably the right time to do it now this is feeling very adventurous and play the uh, combination shot it's gonna take his time at it 
got a full 45 seconds plus an extension if he needs it. on it if this goes in clean he should be able to cut that red in so there is value in this clearance still although he's got a very long rooted way of doing it there's some cheering from the other table which might indicate the uh, Bears are winning. If uh, Jay's still watching, that was Paul winning a frame, I believe. Alright, so let's see what Dylan can do with the table now. I'll disappear out of the commentary box to give players here interleague shirts the players that have ordered them so if you're one of the players that have ordered the interleague shirt it's here for you we just got to get them to you basically so we're going to sort them out with your captain the ones have got their shirts the ones that ordered them i think there was only two of us there's half a dozen two players that in the twos have got shirts and similar for the threes the one committee shirt isn't there richard he's smiling I smile because it's been like six to seven months in the coming. Yeah, it's worth waiting for though. It's official now. Yes, yeah, so I've been signed in, yeah. told what the secret handshake is. Yeah, he's not getting moaned at now like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, it's a nice poke. I, I, I think you can get it. Out. You can steal that one in the middle there to pop that. Yeah, so they, they, these, are, these are there. You can go for these. I'm not saying they're rollings by any means though. got straight down to this so I don't think it's uh well no he must be able to see it. Oh, I think he bought it. No he went for double. He's for double. Oh he's very close. Well that has left game on for Mr Stringer now. This red will go past the yellow either clean or off it. If he wants to hold for the red below probably yeah, off the yellow. Off the yellow's a better shot isn't it? Leave a bit of angle, come up the table for the black. What you don't want to do is knock this yellow in the path of the black I guess. I don't think that's really going to be a probability. Oh, he really it. Perhaps he was worried about that, I don't know. Doesn't yeah, look bad though, doesn't look bad. I kind of like the idea of knocking the yellow just onto the cushion, just for a little bit of safety. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It would, have held, it would have held, held better, better for me. Yeah. 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 But, we'll see it differently. Perhaps he, yeah, perhaps he just took any, uh, anything, I'm not certain, out of the equation. Uh, maybe just backing himself to pop the balls. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he's well capable of finishing this. Normally commentators curse, yeah, and sure enough we've uh, put the curse on him. That's probably not his, the greatest shot he's ever played. He can cut this in. Yeah, oh, it's, it's on, but... Um, he can cut it in both pockets, I think. Yeah, I think I like the idea of playing it in the top left. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, mate. But I think he's going the other way. Yeah, he is. This is a right old snick, this one, I think. Extreme, yeah. Come on, Dylan! Come on! He's overcut it. He can't, actually overcut you that. can't believe that, can you? You can overcut a ball like that. We're both saying this is a snick from Hill, and he's overcut it. So I, I see him playing a snicker in. 
uh, angle he's got, he's not going to roll that yellow up towards the black pocket. Yeah. No, not going off. So I think, that, that I think he's just playing safely. This will be a snooze. Because he might be putting this yellow a bit nasty, man. Oh. Okay. I kind of like the idea of playing a snooper and leaving the yellow in open play there, but I yeah. think Ian, Ian, can, Ian can certainly roll his black out and leave the white behind the yellow mark. Yeah. Yeah, he could, he could get um, Dylan in a bit of trouble here. So this is obviously Ian. He could even go Falcon behind Wood. the black. I know he's going to try and stick it to that yellow, isn't he? Yeah, I think mean, uh, yeah, that's right. Good yeah. shot, good shot, Ian Stringer. Looking from where we are to the table, there's about an inch or so gap between them two balls at the top, so... Yeah, Dylan can get got, this safe. He's got enough to, to be able to just nick off of it and go the other side of it. But it's a very delicate one, because he pushed the yellow out too far, really, to knock off. I think he's going, he's going aggressive with the safety. Wow. Oh, that's, a, that's, uh, that's left the pot. There's a good two inches between these balls now as well, and he can play this to the bottom. Yeah, look, it looks tight on camera, but uh, he, he can play this to the bottom. Like he's got like a couple of inches between them. Yeah, I think it, I think he goes for this. I think I think he's going diagonal. I think, I think he goes this. He's just trying to the bottom left. Try and just stun it. I think. Yeah, there's the stun. Oh. It's very unlucky to knock that yellow out. Yeah, very unlucky. Yellow, just where he didn't want him. I can tell you in the other game, it's 2-1 to the Bears. Going along at relatively the same pace as this game, really. Yeah, I think they're both a bit cagey. Yeah, I wasn't expecting either match to be a complete distress with uh, all that's at stake in that. Looking for a dish fest, I assume you should tune in next week. Yeah. Or come and watch a pickwick practice. No, don't do that. <laughs> they can do that afterwards when they want to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, next week we got the Hot Shots versus the Sharks in the Founders Cup final. Uh, that's the only game on that. that ought to be a cracking game. Top two teams in the league. Good shot there, the win stringer. Once again, we'll go quiet, do what we normally do, and be back. See you in a bit. Uh, big thank you to Woody Stuka Club who um, gladly, um, who kindly let us play uh, many of our sort of lower key knockouts here in the last few weeks. So if you've been watching the streams, you've probably seen them come from Woody Stuka Club. Um, the events were a big success, and many thanks to the uh, management and, and the club itself for uh, the stadium. It's a club we'll be going back to in future, I dare say. say as well uh, thank you to Rahat Money who's uh, sponsored us it's associated with Beverly Morris and Company Assessors if you want to sell a house or you've got anything legal you need sorted out if you're on a if you're on any sort of charge you might need getting off on <laughs> uh, go and see Rahat and he'll sort you out As I was saying earlier, easy fundraising if you can join it. 
uh, and then there's about 8,000 different retailers and services online. Want to book an holiday, um, paying some insurance, um, want to go shopping at, at um, Amazon, eBay, etc. All on there. Every time you spend a couple of quid, the league make a couple of pennies. Every penny that we make, we funnel back into the league and make things better. It's paying for these streams, paying for the equipment. Um, so anything you can do that helps us uh, be much appreciated. All it is is one click. And if you need a bed, you can see Trigger the bed post. And um, you, you make sure you get a good night's kit. They'll either talk to you and you'll nod off, or he'll sell you a bed. But you can rest assured you'll get a good night's kit. Squad as well. Yeah, I think he got it back into the county team, didn't he? I think. Did did, he? Yes, yeah, there you go. So he's in good nick. Hatton plays a lot of his pool around the Gravesham area, I believe. Got his uh, runs his own interleague league team down here. Well, I say his own. He's certainly captain's one of them. He stick with us. We're mindful of information, don't we, mate? Yeah, most certainly are. Oh, we've got a head full of muck. Whatever way you want to think about it. It's absolutely ramo in uh, Elton Terrace tonight. There's all sorts of people practicing. Yeah. People that normally play have come up for a hit because the league's yeah. virtually finished for, for the winter. For, Thursday nights they don't have the poker on either, so yeah. it's, just, it's just literally people with kids and balls. Yeah, and it's, uh, there must be a good 60, 70 people in here tonight, I think. Yeah. I think there's good uh, active interest in these two games as well. Yeah, yeah we've got a bit of a testament by the few people watching. watching as well. Yeah. Now, Robin Pollock said she's going to do a dance for us later. We've got the pole. <laughs> what? What? When they get a pole, we all have to turn it on. That's on live stream now, so yeah. you're, you're, you're now committed to that. Yeah. <laughs> you're committed to that now, yeah. Alright, we've got a foul here. Yeah. So, so, um, Pat's got ball in hand as uh, that part's gone in off. Now, I've still got an open table, I believe. Looks like he's, uh, he's going red. Reds it is. <laughs> He's played that one. He's over overcooked it a tiny bit, isn't he? I don't know. So struggling to work out there what he was trying to get on next, given the way he played it. He was going to play this red at the top next, and I thought the thought topping through to the cushion to play out. Now he's coming down the table. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps this is not his uh, shot of choice. He's a, he's a good potter. And he, he's probably a little bit unlucky that flick on the two hasn't really opened them up no. at this point. Yeah, I might have made it a tad worse, if anything, really. I don't know. Uh, I'm half a feeling this red that's next to the yellow in the middle of the table might go past into the top, right? Yeah. If it, if, it, if it doesn't, it might even go off the red that's right there by the pocket. Now, I think he's eyeing that up. And it, the red should pop out if he does play this. I think he's playing it direct in. I think he's playing it off the red. There you go. Oh, this is probably a bit tight anyway. So, yeah, I'm not sure. As it turns out, uh, he played neither. <laughs> well, I think he's done him a disservice there. I think he was just trying to flick that red eye. Fair play, then. Not an yeah, easy shot. A little bit of a twist in between the two, that we said. They might be wondering why they're called um, Rugrats. It's because Steve Gibson's got a um, carpet factory. Uh, not factory. Carpet company. With fits carpets. And uh, 
Uh, it's yours to see who will be taking out a bit of sponsorship for the league, so we're going to hold him to that. And he's got a tiny bit of advertising money. Until, until, until the money's in the bank, that's yeah. as much about his company as you're going to know. Uh, quite right, quite right, mate. Carl's got to come up with a bit of a plan here. Is he going down there to move that jodgy yellow? Yeah, you had the angle. I think had he played it with a bit of conviction, I think he might have uh, it would have been. He would have been in business there. I mean to land on that ball would have been extremely difficult, so it was either a case of moving it or ignoring it, I think. Yeah, but you look at the five balls he's got on the table, only one of them's really in any kind of decent position to do something with. The rest are sitting on cushions or sitting next to yeah, a, yeah. an opponent's ball. Yeah, it's not a friendly table, is it? Not really. And the thing is, after this shot, it might become a little bit more friendly for the Reds. Well, he's played a flicky little one to the middle, he's got it. But unfortunately, where he was uh, positioned, he's not really been able to leave himself much to go at next. Sorry, I've got distracted. He's playing this one in the middle, uh, in the middle of the table, even. He's playing a nice pop there. Again, he's chasing the finish a little bit. Trying to, hunt, trying to get the cue ball. Just taking his pocket would give him something. I think he's going pop to pop at the moment. Uh... He, might be, he might be flicking off one to try and push that one across. I don't know. Is he playing the one he's closest he's to? to? Then, try and push that uh, one across. I like, I, like, I like the idea of just playing this one that's by the left bottom pocket as we're looking yeah, at it. Just, just literally it. bounce it and leave the cue ball down. Yeah, that's not a bad shot. Yeah, shall it stop that really red, stop the red to the top pocket. Yeah, that's what he done. Oh, I know, just popped out of it, didn't he? He's ended up taking a pocket. Although, uh, I like that shot. Oh, he was always going to leave the one to the middle, the left middle. Yeah. Well, that's tough, though, I think. I mean, that's an easy pop. Tough, but not impossible. But again, if he makes it... Then he'd be going up the table to the top ones up here first. Oh, that, that red and then there's a combination the shot down here at the end. Well, yeah, but I'm not sure. What does that get you? Yeah, that's not a bad shot. He would have liked that, that red to, to hug that side row a bit to stop him seeing this one down the line. And then he would have been really in business. Assuming, assuming that he does pass. Yeah, I don't know. That's tricky to see. I don't think Akar's looking at it. Akar seems to be looking at this one by the um, bottom right. If you can see that one, then there's no harm in just popping that one out as well. Covering the path to the black, maybe. He's playing it off the cushion for the look of it. Yeah, I don't think you can see it direct, can he? No, he's definitely needing to play it off the cushion. Yeah, not a bad shot. That will do him. Now, Pat's got a bit of sorting out to do here. him just getting this ball out probably going for a double a little bit as well that was but probably the shot I think had he got it he could have had a go at game yeah now, so now for me playing the one by the bottom pocket and just double kissing the white back behind the other yellow could be a good shot here because there's no value in really oh, trying to pop this out. I see what you're saying, D double kiss it, yeah I see what you're saying, double kiss it and use the momentum to come back to snooker on this bottom rail, yeah, yeah. If you want to get scientific about it, that will be the way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you played something sort of what you were talking about. Yeah, not maybe exactly as I envisaged it, but the same sort of shot. Probably just didn't hit it full enough, did he, to play that? He probably hit it too much on the right side yeah. of the ball, maybe. Yeah. Turning this around bit by bit. What's happening? Oh, well, we can't 
Cup and there was already practicing, wasn't it? yellow now then he, he's on for the game here this is a natural just to pop this come out to the middle of the table and be on the next ball uh, maybe he can't see it he's taking this one first maybe over hit that a little bit more than he wanted to I thought he was more on it the first time but again camera angle deceptive don't think so I think the extreme cut is probably the shot he's playing. I suppose it's a two-way shot and if he takes the pocket. Yeah. I think the aggressive shot's a double, but ah, it's a two-way. Two Unless you're thinking double into the middle, but... No, I'm thinking double into the corner, I'm thinking. But... No, that don't go. Uh, double in pass! I think it would have been better than that, I think. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll make sure. mistakes. I'm not going to hang a man. I'm not going to hang a man for playing a bad shot. I've made a career out of it. But, you have to think, if the Rugrats want to make headway in this match, these, these, this should be taken out. Yeah, you've got, you've got to finish this. Yeah, you, you've got to finish this, really. You're in a cup final now. If you're going to win a cup final, you, you can't turn chances down. But, not chances that are all begging to be taken up by this. He's, yeah. under, he's under hit that one. I think he's all right. I think I he think goes under hit bottom, bottom left. Bottom. Uh, I think oh, sorry, top, top left, top right, middle, back for black, I think. Uh, I think uh, that should have been a good two, three inches well, more to play the right I think, I think you're right. The lights have been on that, on that ball to the bottom, uh, top right pocket. And then, see this one, if he can screw oh, back. Just punch it, didn't you? He just threw it back with it, I think, but I think he's leaving a bad angle on the next one. He's not leaving the angle. He's, he's going to leave an angle where he's not going to come down from the He could just dribble this, I think, if he wanted to. I think he's going yeah, uh, to. The angle could have been better for me. That's me being critical. He's putting yeah, the balls. Okay, he's not running completely the balls of black, but um, I think he's not he's bad. Only, he's only got to put it in, come off, yeah. on off the cushion, to yeah. have a shot at it. If he uh, finishes where that red is, he's laughing. There you go. I've seen easier blacks, but um, yeah, got to back yourself again, tonight. I'd say the cube was a little bit awkward. He didn't need to leave it awkward. Easy game for me, though, mate, isn't it? Oh, Pat. Well, that's not great. He's, he's, he's got a way of a leave here, I suppose. It's not a um, no gimme pot. I mean, that car just be pleased. It's, flirt, it's flirting with an on, in off there a little bit as well. Yeah. Having said that, it's not a particularly obvious, easy safety there. I think you've got a pokey and open, yeah. Maybe. I think if he hits it right and doesn't hit it hard, I think I think he, he, he avoids you enough. I think. I think. He, I think if he's playing it top right, he's got to play it the top to get past yeah, the sir. pocket and go to the top cushion. I think it's probably thin enough for that. But it is. Yeah, it's a twitchy one, Thought isn't it? With danger. Yeah, it's a twitchy one. Well, look at that. Flirting with the pocket, as you said. He'll be pleased with that. He's potted it and he's landed on it. Yeah, and it's a shot. That. It is a makeable shot. To be fair, he'll be delighted with that. <laughs> One good shot, Akar. We'll put your team 3 1 up. Shot by Akar there, very good shot. That's a foul point down 3 1 up and That's taking a, a bit of an advantage. Yeah, so skip are doing the business for you. Right, much to do, we'll, we'll go quiet and we'll be back in a minute.
I think we give everyone a mention tonight, so we all, certainly ought to give the Belgrave Social Club a, a mention. That's the headquarters of the SLKP8, so we hold all our meetings. Um, nice bar there, some cheap drinks. There was a bit of social there as well. So if you've not been, been in here before, try and get down here, become a member, etc. Well worth it. Gibson, captain of Rugrats, has broke off. He's playing fifth because obviously the four better players went first. <laughs> it's a bit, bit harsh on him. <laughs> I think he was um, SLKBA's leading player in the league last year, and SLKBA in the whole of uh, for the whole of SLKBA, although he was playing for twos. He's, uh, he's always good for a bit of banter. Yeah, yeah he's a good man, Gibby. When, he, when he's on song, he's a, he's a good attacking player. He likes the balls open. I think the Rub Reds want this one, really. They're going to need this one. Yeah, I think if the club will take this. 4-1 after the first set, yeah. halfway there. Yeah. It's not impossible to come back from that, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's, it's tougher ask. Yeah, it's psych psychologically it's quite nice. I think the team leading tend to start thinking, here we go. Uh, it's Luke Matthew coming to the table now for, um, for the Falconwood. shot for me, the red in the middle of the three on the table here, pop that in the middle and come up and count it into the balls at the top. Get your awkward red out. Is this the sort of angle you were talking about? No, 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 no. Ball, ball before. Okay. Playing off the top, cushion and into it. Okay, right, okay, that, yeah, that push it up the line. Yeah, 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 tag yeah. straight into it. He's now looking at, yeah, loss of turn maybe. That's quite a big shot. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's one of those that you, you kind of just asking the question. That red's popped out from the pocket and I think you're going to go past. Yeah, he's, got, he's, got this, yeah. he's got this plant to start. They're there. Yeah, they're not a gimme, yeah. but they're there. They're not. No. Good first, good first pop. Yeah, he's not got... You know, I'm liking on the cutting the one on the right-hand side here, because no matter where the cue ball goes, he will be on one shot. of them. Yeah, so he plays the one to the right, yeah. Yeah, you're right, mate. You're right. <laughs> you're I correct. Add to it. No, you. I like that as well. Gibby's looking. Gibby's looking at this one over the bottom left. I think. Yeah, you need to come out around the back of it. I'm now he's probably committed to going bottom right, top left. Yeah, I think just because of. Because of Hanford queuing and the distance between them, he's got to pot this and try and come up. Probably find the gap between the red and the black. He doesn't want to just come around the side of it. Either way, he should be on it. Yeah. You've got to avoid 
these reds, isn't he, in the centre of the table now? Yeah, I think this ball, if he wants to, he can play it off the cushion, off the red, red. end, yeah. to give himself a bit more angle for the cue ball to swing round for the black. And swing it sort of inside the red, so swing he can swing the middle sort of, pocket. Swing it sort of top top cushion, side cushion, yeah. and then round so the top of the reds. The, ends up by the middle, middle, sort of middle right hand side on it. Yeah. I just like to screw into it, same, 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 same shot I said. You can see it. Holding, holding his hand up, so he's a bit fortunate to maybe... Yeah, I don't think he's intended being quite there with uh, the white. Well, I was trusting him up with the cue ball a little bit there. Right, one shot by Gibby. to the bottom left. No, he's missed it. I oh, see. Alfie Southby is uh, tuned in again. How's your uh, prediction getting on? <laughs> well, he might still be 8-1. He might have gone the wrong way, mightn't he? He, he could have done. Right. Now, Falcon Wood can make him chase this like there's no tomorrow if he wants to. He's got all the time in the world here. He has. He's also, Oops, got, he's also got balls he can pot. Don't like, don't like the sound of that, man. Cutting balls. Overrated. Oh, I think the camera just got a wobble there off of someone. We're all right, though. We're still, still live. <laughs> it's a nice double, but... On the left to play up here. The thing is, he can't afford to, he can't afford to take this one to the, to the top left and miss it because it just cuts the black in, I think. That's true. That, it, that That's does lose the black, but it's a shot that it, it's the right shot to play and it should get it. I think he might be screwing back, is he? He looks like he could be digging it a bit. He's done what you said, he's done what he's left it. Yeah, you, you want to be taking the cuts if you can. It's nice to take game with a where you think any miss here, I'm not leaving Gamer. But, uh, Gibby will knock that in, I think. Oh, oh he didn't. Wow, we. He's found it. Wow, we, wow, we. He has slightly got away with it in the sense that the cube was landed not favourably. I, I think he's got shot to play the balls to the. Uh, I think, bottom left. I think, uh, bottom on the left right. hand side, yeah. Um, I said bottom right. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the ball I meant. Right, I'm just going to have a, you carry on, I'm just going to have a chat. So, um, he's got, got a full ball snooker out of that. And, uh, no obvious, uh, no obvious shot to get a connection. Call his extension, have a little think about it. It's a tricky one. Yeah, we worked out what was happening there. The chair was actually on the camera. <laughs> on the camera stand. Right. Yeah, this is makeable, isn't it? Oh, no. Cue ball in there. Now that has to be good night, really, doesn't it? I, th I think, yeah, if you're gonna, it has to be taken this out yeah, now. You've got, you've got to be taking this now. It's got to go the right way around it. I think the red nearest the eight ball. Yeah. Right. Down yeah, to the, the top right. Yeah. yeah. Got to be the right shot. Ball in here. As long as you finish on your next ball, really. It's just, it's just joining them up, isn't it? I think, I think just playing this and screwing it back about half a foot foot. You're on the one in the middle. You're on the two in the top left. You have options. Yeah, to finish your bunk. Bunk's all free. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, over, overcooked, over but just, yeah, I'm a big fan of that one. Yeah, he's got, he's got into that a little bit too much, so he's left himself a bit of an angle on this one in the middle. Could play one to the top left still, screwing back. Again, just how confident you are. Yeah, he's left himself a, a bit of a quandary. He can go for a game, pot it and win it. He can go for a game, miss it and lose. He's going, going for a game, though. He's going for top left. He's got it. Yeah, it's the right shot to play to be fair, I think you've got to have a go at them. He should just this. be rolling this, shouldn't he? Roll this in the bottom left. Roll the other one top right. And yep. Black's sitting yep. waiting for you. Yep. Yep. 
a gimme, I must admit. It's not probably showing it on camera angle now. This, this does not, from that angle, I think, cut in. He's not left it. He might have left a double, but he ain't left a plain ball. Um, I won't be happy with that one. To be, to be fair, there is not. There is, there is half a call to go up and down the, off the top cushion in the guy here. Yeah, I mean, that shot is on. I, I, I personally like the cross double, but you can't play the way you see it. No, he's doing what you said, mate. Come on, man. I'm, I'm going to call that a little bit unlucky. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure you have to play that shot personally. Given cue ball in hand, he's... Um, oh, don't get me wrong, it's maybe not the right shot, but it was a shot to pot it, at least. Yeah, OK. There were other shots that were maybe a bit more safer, but... Luke's got to again, himself to give him This is uh, another chance that he needs to be taken out. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. And you should drift towards the black here, make the black sure. even easier. Because yeah. that black is it's it not is quite. quite as, it's not quite as difficult as it looks on in, in, on, in real life. That's so about as good on it as he's going to get. Yeah, he's absolutely bang should on. Just it. be dropping this in. All right, four one at Falcon Wood. Are they going to win the cup? Their name certainly halfway there.
I'll forget that, I'll tell you. Right, all right. Here we go. Change of referee now. Tony Frost, league chairman, has stepped in to do his bit and give Chris a bit of a break. And the uh, second set. Second set's going to be the uh, same two players that started the match. Jamie and uh, Ashley, I think Jamie's going to get the break this time. Going, going for the, uh, the cut break. A productive cut break at that. That's a nice break. I don't want to be uh, commentators cursing him, but as a uh, first possibly of a break dish that we've seen all night. This position, I'm fancying reds are the, the ball to go for. He's got a good good angle on this one here to play this one one in yellow into the bottom left straight away, which is probably out of all of them the awkward ball. And he can attack the ones on the left side possibly as well. They will link up. Yeah, so he is on reds. Let's pop that in. Looking down the uh, line of the shot that he's uh, eyeing up now, he's we're just behind on the right hand side as you're looking at it on the screen. This red does pass the other one. Yeah, these balls are all there to be behind it now. That's a bit surprised if he doesn't actually get these, to be fair. Joined in the commentary box by our man Louis. Rugrats are in deep shit here. That's my technical. That's my technical. Uh, Tone has automatically been lowered. Yep. Because I reckon Jamie probably takes these out. I'd, I'd be surprised if he doesn't. Quite frankly, player of his ability. Yep. Certainly would fancy his chances. I mean, the only thing is he's laying a little bit straight and he's going to be leaving the trickiest ones he'll last. And you don't normally want to do that, but he's not going to have a problem with it because he ain't got to do anything with the cue ball. just rolls it in and puts it back in the middle, hasn't he? Yeah. Again, there is a bit of an angle there. Yeah. He's probably going a bit, a bit more straight than he'd like, but... You can hear anything in the background yeah, there. The Bears are, uh, the bears are I think they're 6-2 six, six, up. Six six up now, two I think it is. They're well on their way to uh, promotion. Premier League. Yeah. yeah. Really good fun for Right, uh, question for the people finish. watching in the commentary. Uh, can people please comment what is the best takeaway? What's your favourite takeaway? That's what I want to know tonight. I think, uh, I think Indian's going to come up top. I don't mind. I don't mind an Indian. Gaff's just turned up. He thinks I'm talking about girls. We're talking about. We're talking about takeaways. That's dropped in. That's a break dish. And that is five one. And that is five one. And we are going to go quiet whilst you all consider which takeaway you want.
Welcome everyone to the Rugrats. Well, yeah. Alfie, Southby, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not sure, uh, I'm not sure the Rugrats are actually going to come back from this now. It's going to take a bit of effort. Five one down, and the Rugrats have sent Shane in to not Eddie Clear. start start the uh, start the comeback. Oh, I thought you meant Eddie Clear, mate. <laughs> now it's a good player, Shane O'Reilly. When, when he's on, he's um, got a lot of talent. Right? Yeah, certainly more than capable. That's actually gone a little awkward for a big break that it was. They, the balls have rolled a little bit funny then. He's probably got yeah. Yeah, he ain't got, yeah, he wants the red, I think, and he... Yeah, he might be out, he might have forgot one and put the, play the plant. I think, I think that is on, yeah. He doesn't make the red any better it's that he's not, flicking off of. Yeah, I don't think it's perfectly set, that's what he's got to be a bit careful of. I think, we think it is. Uh, he's had a good shot there. Yeah, yeah he's now, on, I think he's, he's got to wait, he's wait, you know, bide his time a little bit to build the game, I think. I suppose I would say that, wouldn't I? Yeah, and... And obviously, you've, you've not watched Shane play. No. <laughs> Or he ain't much me, one or the other. <laughs> I think, but I do, I do agree, a little bit of uh, patience in this frame is probably needed. Going gung-ho here is probably not the way. I say that, he might, yeah, he might just he might slap, up, <laughs> slap this in top pocket yeah. and come forward for the one on, in the middle. So, sometimes, you know, you, you even you, you actually eat up, aren't playing left clear up. You drop something you don't really mean to and you think, do you know what? I could get this, I could get that, and you go bang, 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 you fall, you know it, you're straight on the back. <laughs> so, what was the question that we asked? What's your favourite takeaway? What's your favourite takeaway? One person has replied Tony Wilson says Chinese. Yeah. I, I, I like the Chinese as well, I've got to say Tony. What's yours, Richard? Um, you know what I like a variety of ta a takeaways, but if I'm if I'm pushed to name one specifically, I'd probably go fish and chips. Yeah, I don't want a bit of fish and chips. Anything that I <laughs> every mind you, everything gives me fuck good, sure, everything gives me indigestion now. I'm just wearing on the thing here. Mind you, if you know how bad my indigestion was, you'd understand why as well. Well, I don't think it's indigestion, I think I get heartburn. But, um, or acid reflux, isn't it? But, um, yeah, uh, yeah. I do like fast food, but it doesn't delight me a lot. You know? If anyone wants to tune in for the medical hour after the live stream is finished, right? Yeah, yeah. Gas available all night. Yeah, I'll be doing one of them things where they put the body on the table and they start opening them up and having a little look. Lucky I put some clean pants on tonight. I took this final seriously, even had a bath. I didn't need one, but I had one. You should have seen some of the places I scrubbed and all. Nafs hanging in there. I, I think Shane cuts this across the, the top and bottom left. We've got a referee in question. Somebody's playing a ball and the white starts rising as he's hit it. It hits the ball he's aiming at, but carries on and goes over it, but he's hit the ball. And then it goes on and pops another ball, one of his own. What's the question? He hasn't jumped over his own ball, has he? Huh? He hasn't jumped over his own ball. It's, yeah, well it's gone over it, but he's hit it on the way. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So what's the actual question? Even if it touches the top of it, it's fine. Yeah, as long as you don't jump in the back of it. Okay, so, so if it touch, even if it goes up and lands on it, it's fine. okay. Yeah. Effectively, yeah. Yeah, there we are, we've got qualified ref arcs as the rules. Yeah, uh, if anyone was wondering what that was about, that was a qualified ref asking a question about referee. Yeah. I'll tell you another a takeaway I'm partial to, and I have had it once or twice, as anyone from the picnic will know, a bit of chicken and chips. Oh yes. this with Kentucky fan, not big on all that, I think the portions are too small, but um, a bit of chicken and chips and from her chicken, the chicken chop and, brothers they say. And, and this is exactly why we don't invite Louis into the commentary box anymore, because conversations end up going this way. <laughs> oh there we go, 
Now, I'm going to think that ain't a bad shot. I know Shane's got chances here, but I'm starting to like yellows a bit more than I like reds now. Yeah, Naft has dug himself out a little bit uh, of a problem here. He's, um... Yeah, I'm not sure uh, Shane's going to double that red back, is he? I think, I think he's playing it back down, yeah. I can't that see any reason why not. That's the easiest well. That's so easy to get too thick. I don't think you're trying to pot it. I think you're just trying to get the ball down in that area. Yeah, it's so easy to get to. He's double he, kissed that. He was so concentrating. The I would DDJ. imagine. I would imagine he was concentrating so hard not to hit that thick. No, hang on. Hit that too, too thin. Too thin. Yeah, that's he's sorry, you're too, too thin, thick. and he's hit yeah. it far too thick. Yeah, and it's that's a difficult shot to double back from where he was there. But not not that you can't, but it, it's not the easiest shot in the world. And yeah, can see this yellow is on the right right hand side, top of the other one. It's a pot here. And he's uh, unfortunately not landed anywhere. Yeah, I'm not keen on that a lot. In response to that one, Tony, I can't possibly say on a live stream. There you go. I looked at it. I looked at your comment, Tony, and didn't have a clue what you were talking about. And right. that's probably his best. <laughs> right, as well. let's leave it there then. Oh, I don't know what Neff's, Neff's doing here, this one. This is. Uh, I'm not sure what quite what he played there, unless he played for the yellow into the bottom left. I think he's playing a free ball plant. Now. This, is, this is as big as your house, this is. Oh, what, what a shot. What? That, what a shot. That's, that's, a, a, that's a lovely that's a shot. That's a potential frame winner, that one. That has come out absolutely lovely. Yeah, that's a good shot, that death. Even, even landing on the cushion doesn't really matter because he can just drift through to the other side cushion and be on the yellow. Yeah, just looking to see where he wants to leave himself. I think he's got to be careful he doesn't snoop himself behind the black here. I don't bit. think he will. I don't, I just don't see it. He, he'd probably dig into this cue ball a little bit just to come up past the, the black. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit tight on the uh, around a little bit. There's enough angle there. I think he'll just drop, I reckon. No, what do I know? Well, well flirting with the better. back, but... Yeah, flirting with it. Few laps of the table. He's gonna need a new pair of trainers out of this out of this match, I reckon. And he is actually playing with a loose cues here as well, I must say. So you know, you so. can't see him missing, can you? Because you just can't lose with loose cues. <laughs> there you go. Uh, six one. I think the Rugrats are cooked here, but uh, well, let's see. In the other semi final, yeah. the Bears are leading yeah. by six frames to two. So, Neft is taking this seriously. He's done two laps to the table first before he's had a line up for this. He's done a couple of squats. <laughs> so, he'd be the fittest man in the Ultra Terrace after this. We'll just go quiet now, I think, in case we are distracting him. I don't think we are. We're quite further enough away, I think. I think he's a, fo he's a focused man. Yeah, it's Neff. I don't think he misses this. Fair enough, he doesn't. Yeah. And that's that, it's a big frame, these one now. Yep, and we'll go call up whilst we uh, update the scores.
Right. All right, welcome back, people. Uh, wrapping up, ready to go. We're ahead of the, uh, the ref this time. Lee Bowles has just pulled a frame back there for the... Um, for so now we got Akon taking Dylan. Unfortunately, we haven't got the facility to uh, to pan over to the other match because uh, all our setup is all uh, pretty low key here. We're not exactly the um, not exactly Sky. We can't show, show you this on different channels. But the beauty is we haven't got a subscriber either. So you know. So, I believe that is dry. Yeah, in my biff, and nothing happened. So it's going to be at the table. He's just looking for a bit of, no, he's got a bit of chalk, oh, he's looking for a bit of chalk, but he's got some. Oh, he's getting a laugh from his teammates there. Yeah, yellow's the way to go here, I think. I can't see anything other than that. No, I think knowing, knowing Dylan, he'll have a poke at it, I know, I think. I think, I think they're there to be gone at. I don't see any reason why they're not. I'm going to cheer for the Rugrats here because I want to keep this stream going as long as I can. I say I do, it's good. Good for the league, gives, gives everyone something to watch, you know, you can't beat a 7-7 seven, seven game, can you? Uh, it depends if you're playing, innit? Well, it's yeah. Not so nice. Yeah, no, yeah. If you're, if you're a neutral, yeah, no, I, I get it. If you're, if you're actually playing in it, you want an 8 nil really, but other than that. Uh, yeah. They've not really taken their chances now, have they, the Rugrats? No, they've uh, not been... Yeah, not really stepped up to that, I suppose. Yeah, I think... They've had one or two chances, so they maybe should have had it. The scoreline could have been a bit more closer than it is, but... Yeah, I think that's the thing. Would that, they have taken it? Yeah, well, that's it. It's fine margins, isn't it? They've taken their chances a little bit. Yeah, we'll be here for one visit or three or four turn, visits. I think they've turned frames around, haven't they, Will? You know, I think you can't argue they deserve to be, lead, to be leading. Few of the hot shots guys tuning in now. Yeah. Welcome, Danny. Danny Kay's watching. See, as soon as, as soon as we say they're taking their chances, back off, throws his curl, one and misses, and Dylan's back at the table. Mad game, this is. half a chance as well. He's, he's on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got to be done, it's not easy. No, it's right, Neil. It's never open until you get away. That's quite right. Got to keep believing. One nice shot here by, by Dylan. That qualifies a nice shot. I, uh, he's on it. Well, he's on the one at the top right, isn't he? I don't know if there's no, two no, in the middle. He's the one above the black, that'll go past the red into the middle, and he'll leave himself on the other one to the top left. Well, there you go. Maybe it did, but um, he's, he's decided on the one to the top right. Now I'm not so sure. Yeah, I was going to say, now has he left himself? It definitely looks like it's blocked to the middle. Look, watching it live. Yeah. That's the thing with playing pool, you do have to think maybe two, three shots in advance sometimes. Yeah, I've done that much. I've got a terrible headache. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to play something a bit tiny bit special here, I think. Yeah, there it was, that was a bit special. Good that shot. Yeah. yeah, that's a good shot. He's got to play this with a bit of bottom. Make sure he can get a good view of that yellow that's on the left hand rail. He's only got to screw it back, so yeah. just behind the rest. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm punched um, back again, I think. Yeah, screw back to roughly Just, where it is there. Yeah. Uh, tough arse, but... <laughs> this, this should be one of them, unless he does something silly. It should, all, should be 6-2. There it is! The comeback is on. Right, we'll update the scores. Back in a bit.
Right, so the comeback continues. Steve Gibson at the table. All right, come on in, Gibby. Keep the dream alive, son. Come on. I'm not really supporting either team. I just want to um, just want to see as much ball as we can. So it'd be nice. I think the Rug Rats can mount a bit of a comeback. We haven't changed. I haven't seen any subs coming yet, mate. This has been the same five, hasn't it? Well, same we ain't seen all five. Yeah, we, um, but we've seen the same players. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. been the same players. It's been the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Not seen anyone else really coming in. So I think both teams have got. Uh, well, can't really afford yeah, to be missing those. There's yes, at least a, a, a one or two. There's certainly a sub on either side that they could use. We haven't seen him yet, but it's possible. Yeah. Haven't seen. Uh, Mr. Baker tonight, is he uh, No, he's probably um, selling himself in the south of France or um, oh, down enough. the south coast, wherever yeah. he is. Priorities, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, he didn't play in the semi-final, ah. to be fair. Yeah. So, that, that means little, but anyway, you know. Yeah. So... Uh, so yeah, Gibby's on for Reds here. It's, uh, they're all there to be gone out, I think. Yeah. Yes. He goes a little breakout right shot here. Oh, we didn't want to do that, though. That's not the ball we, we wanted to be breaking out of white in the middle no. pocket, was it? No. They've not had, a, they've not had a, the it's best uh, of roll, the Rug Rats it's tonight. It's a little bit of a testament to how the night has been for him a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It depends what he's going to do with this, though. But, it's not going to last for yellows either, is it? And no. red by the, by the left middle is, uh, is problematic. See, see, if this is me, and again, this is just personal preference, I'm playing this yellow on the bottom cushion with a bit of an angle so the cue ball comes up behind the two yellows that are close together by the left middle. Yeah. That's I mean, gets, I gets the ball the... out, gets the, gets the snooker. Me being the attacking player I am, I might be looking to put the white on the green spot and take it off that red that's blocking this, blocking these balls here. Having said that, do you know what? He might be going the right way here. <laughs> I didn't realise that win. He puts that, flicks the other one. They're, they're yeah. all there to be gone, eh? Yeah, it's, a, it's just, a tricky black, but... It's just the one on the bottom cushion is, is the problem ball. Yeah, it's, it's an horrible it, ball, it, wouldn't it? Right? It, it does, like it's, that on their own. And it's horrible, nowhere near it? anything else, which yeah. is, is not very yeah. helpful. Yeah, if, he, if, he, if, he, if, he was, if he was going to going into that, that's, uh, we'll call it unlucky. Yeah, that's un yeah, it was a little bit un Still 6 3 on the other table, so the Bears. They're two frames away from playing in next year's Premier League. <coughs> we'll concentrate on this one. Again, it's a, it's a chance. Yeah. Not a rolling chance, is it? But no, a chance. But he's got. He's got a full start with. Yeah. Yeah. Middle. I'm not sure where it takes you. Unless you punch it a bit. I don't know. The natural path, I think, of the cue ball here would go between the reds and the black, but it's then just well, finding a ball that the top one of the two reds will go into the top right. From that unless side. he punches it a bit, maybe. Yeah. Uh, he could, but he is close to the cushion, don't forget. So yeah, he is, he is, yeah. Could be a... Well, okay. there you go. It's got behind Subtle angle sometimes we can't see, you know. Yeah. To be fair, he could not have landed on that one better. No. Oh. You can hear some screaming in the background. There's a little bit of alcohol going on on that side of the pub as well. Oh, Gibby. That's not your finest, mate. Uh, Dean James has just put the, the Bears 7-3 up. Uh, and that, a, that was the yell from Dean you heard. Yeah. That might have been the alcohol you heard and all. It's entirely possible. <laughs> so, what's he going to do here? So is Luke, he, he going to go at these? I think it's sort of one of those where he's probably got her, isn't he? Yeah, okay. okay. He's, got a, he's, he's on it. Yeah. Yeah, he's on it. 
got to pick his route out, how he's playing this. It's like you said now, that, that ball net on this bottom row is, um, is key now, isn't it? Absolutely well, key. It was the problem ball at the start. Yeah. The more he's putting these, the more it becomes. It remains the problem ball yeah, still. Yeah, he's, he's got to make sure he, he, he's, he's got, got to land on it at some it. point. Yeah. Or move it, up to him. Land on it or move it, you decide, Luke. I think Angie Ops has had enough on um, table nine. She's blowing hard there, refing. She's, uh, her brains are cooked, I think. Yeah, she said she's going for a quick fag. Say never. <laughs> Six two. Falcon would give me a save earlier for me. No, he's well, got. He's took the pocket. Yeah, but, I, nah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm playing the combination. Yeah. I'm playing the combination shot. Yeah, screwing down the table. Yeah, I suppose combination so. Yeah, combination shot. Screw so. down the Screw right back. hand side of the table for yeah, these two down here. Yeah, there's, there's, there's legs in there. I'll give you that. There's legs in it. I think it depends on the angle. He's got a bit more angles than he thinks. To be fair, the loss of turn is not the worst shot. But I just like the idea of going combination shot. Yeah, well, he's, he played what you said, mate. He didn't he nail did. it, but he played what you he said. Did. Yeah, he played the shot I said. Not, not in the way I said it, but he, he played the shot I said. Right, now Gibby needs to play a nice shot. He had to finish on this um, red to the left middle. That's what, he's, that's what I think he's got. Oh, well. Okay, what's a plan, but I'm not a big fan, but okay. Well, no. it could work. It could uh, really how, work. How about playing the top, top one of the two reds into the top right, top cushion, flip the black out, land on the other red? You've been watching too much Ultimate, son, that's your trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing the shots is half the battle. <laughs> yeah, well, I like my blinkers on. <laughs> I only play one way. <laughs> Tuning in? No, they've got nothing better to do now we're out. <laughs> well, he played your shot, son. No, he, he played your he shot. He played the other ball. He played the one I played. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought you meant that. Sorry. Not bad. Now Luke's stuck with a problem the other way now. Now he's got a ball marooned at the top of the table instead of the bottom. I can't see a huge amount of safety here. Yeah, I'm shocked you've not seen this safety. Right, there is I'm one. I'm shocked you've not seen well, this. So you can go behind the. He's playing this and screwing in behind the ball. Well, wow, that's so. It's, that's it's, so it's a delicate one. When Don't I, get me wrong, but I'm shocked you haven't called yeah, it already. Well, yeah, I mean, if it's an obvious rolling, I've already played it. I, I wouldn't even wait for the 5 4 3 to 1, I'll have played it by now. All other times I'll wait. Well, there you go. There you go, that's a good and shot. That really. yellow covers that red as well. I'll tell you what. He has, be, he has played a nice one there. I'll be jumping through hoops, I've played that, I'll tell you. I'm, yes, I, I'm shocked his teammates have not shouted good shot yeah, for that. That's, that's, yeah, because that is a that's, good shot. That could, that could be not team, just, that team, team, support, team support at its finest. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'd be blaming the table for a roll off on that one. I'll tell you what, they, 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 these are still there though. They are. He can play this one at the top yeah. and come down the table for the bottom of the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's all there for that. And again, I don't think he's got a bundle else really. There's not a huge amount of safety here. I, I don't see any paddy in any safety. No, no, not at all. You've got to play this one down. When, 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 the, um, when the attacking shot's easier than the, the safety shot, you take the attacking shot, don't you? He'll take that. He didn't play for that notch, but he's taken that. Yeah, he played to get up here, didn't he? He's in the right yeah. sort of area. I mean, again, this is not easy. He's a tiny bit closer than he wanted to be. I think it's a big pocket. Yeah. He's got control of water a bit. I guess he wants to be on that, on that top rail now, doesn't he? Anything over that side of the table up there is going to be on the other end. Yeah. Well, there you go. That is, that is a, if there's a bounce off of that, and there is. He would have liked to have been a little bit yeah, straight. Yeah, and have a three or four inches up the table would have made yeah. that really. But he's now coming away from the black, which know, is a bit. Do you know what? If I'm playing this, I'm, I'm concentrating on putting this yellow. 
and I'm happy wherever I finish to roll the black down the rail. And if I, if I don't get it, I've got the old, so you finish it, mate. See, I, I wouldn't have been playing it like that at all. But, but, as I said, that makes a double. What a double, yeah. yeah. What can you say, you know? You give the benefit of the outside play for it. He's only a double away from going six to up. Seven to up, a big pun. Oh! Well, Steve Gibson, you haven't got a choice, son. You've just got to clear these up. I think he's got to get this now. Do you know what? It's a horrible first shot. He's playing this one down here first. Yeah, but it's not a barrel laughs, is it? No, but the ball's coming over here. It's not going to leave an easy black if he missed it. Yeah. And that's a pot you should be getting, if you honest. Yeah, I just think, you know, when someone makes a hash of the black, I always think, well, there should be two rollings, and then they're just not. I think you're right, I think you're right, that's, that's the way to play it. Don't slap it, but play it semi, just, semi. Just cue just it in? Yeah, just cue it in. Yeah. Like that, that's it. Yeah, that's a good shot, Steve Gibson. Now, again, people have different ways of going around this. I think Steve, as a player, will screw this off the side cushion and out. I don't know that at all. You might get snooped. That's what I said. Uh, not from there. I'll tell you what, he's virtually got away with that. I don't know if he will or not, but uh, I wouldn't like to cue that in, I'll tell you. <laughs> See, I would like to control that shot and just pace that in personally. And give myself every chance of putting it. I think given where the cube was in relation to the red, I'd probably play the bottom left. Well, this, yeah, this shot now is Just because you can cue at it. I think he's playing the bottom right, but just to give yourself more ball to play with. Yeah, I know what you mean. Your eyes tend to get drawn to the through um, get drawn to the red, don't they, when you're queuing like that? Oh. So, let's see, for the third time, last year. Very short bridge, isn't he, Steve Gibson? True. He's got into that a bit as well. Yeah. It's a bit, Again, it's a bit he's, he's, there, isn't he? He's found, he's found the position for a double. Yeah. Probably wasn't playing it. And I fancy him to get this double first. Treble. Yeah, it's just not been there now, is it, Rugrats? So, no fun in the pit for the tits that come out sucking their thumb, will they? And that's 7-2 uh, and on the hill, and we'll be back in a few.
coming in. So, Falconwood Club are on the hill, as it were. Uh, one more to go today for claim the title. Uh, slight change in referee again. Chris Barlett's back in. Yeah, going by the uh, team sheet. Uh, Rugrats have uh, dropped a substitute in. Aaron Shepard's coming in now to. Bit of, a bit of a tricky situation coming to the match, but he's coming in to play Ian Stringer. It's going to be Ian to break as soon as Chris uh, sorts the rack out. A little bit of a table maintenance in between as well. Obviously, not racking quite right for him. Perfectionist as Chris is with his, uh, with his table maintenance and. Uh, General professionalism. Watching. What are you watching, Richard? <laughs> watching the front wall being 7 2 up. Yeah, tough spot for Aaron to come into the match. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, he's in the deep end here, isn't he? But, yeah, a little bit. Do you know what? Sometimes you're thinking, I don't know, sometimes when I'm in this position, I think all the guys have gone in before, they've all had a go. I haven't done very well, I'm on an idea of nothing, yeah. I just I was just not an idea of nothing. I can play with freedom, yeah, you know what I mean? The pressure's off, you know? You're either gonna be the hero who wins the frame or yeah. you're just gonna be as bad as everyone else. Yeah, there's some there's sometimes you gotta look like that, do you know what I mean? You've got to take the pressure off yourself somehow, however you need to do that mentally like, you know. You know, you get a game that goes down at the wire and you go, you know, I can't make a mistake, I can't make a mistake, you've got to think there's been hundreds of mistakes in this match already, you know. I'm just gonna play. I think you're in the minority thinking like that. Everyone else will be worried about their own frame. Well, no, yeah, well, you, you just gotta, yeah, I'm not saying I'll get it right, but, um, you know, I'd certainly be at the playing the last frame you saw than, than, than trying to get the team off to a winning start playing the first frame, I mean. Ian Stringer's uh, been around the block a few times, he, he knows what he's doing with the balls. It's a tough game for, for, for um, Aaron, this one. Yeah, he's been around, I think, uh, as long, almost as long as you have, haven't you? Well, I've played, I've, I've played county with him in the very early early 90s, I think. I remember him qualifying and getting through. Not sure what I was doing in the 90s, but I think it involved homework. I mean, I, I, was, I was playing county pool in 89, I think it was my first season at county. Balls weren't even round in those days, mate. <laughs> I remember playing with spots and stripes and a D on the table and all sorts of rubbish rules there were at that time. Well, I might have to disappear in a minute, I'll leave you to it. Could, could be the end 
go over on the other table, yeah, possibly. It's, it's looking it's level three to the Bears, and I think. I'm just going to have a look at the because I've got to go and see the photo Go and have a look. Grisha will look after me, that's a good job. Mostly left to my own devices tonight. It was a bit more mobile than he normally is. Aaron's left him a little bit tricky here. Long yellow. Yeah, he's now that pop. This yellow does pass between the black and the red to go in as well. Yeah. Definitely one or two possibilities. Yeah. It's not quite all over on the other table. The Nuttouts have just taken that one. Staying alive at the moment. Ian's looking to play this off the red, I believe. Oh, nearly. All right, that one went 7-4. So, I'm back. Yeah, this, this, this frame's got some mileage in it still as well. Hmm. Yeah, it certainly has, hasn't it? It looked, it looked for a little while like each player could have had a little go at it, but... The shots they've played have just tied up balls and made it a bit scrappy, so we shall see how they develop them and get, get into it. Yeah, so I'm trying to see what Red's going to play here. Yeah, I need these next couple of shots are run rats are going to be big. Uh, <laughs> this Red is going to play some bottom right. He's going to be handing into the yellows. No, he's just tied it, but he's not really coming up great. No, he can't see that one along the cushion to the bottom right, so there's one above the cube where the boy's going to be playing. Yeah, it's the only one he can see, isn't it? The one yeah. he's closest to. It's, he's, uh, I think he's looking at the plant. And uh, yeah. Know what, he might be, that might be the shot. He's got to watch the white, I think. There's the much else to, to do. I mean, he, he could lose he the white. He yeah. should be able to just play the white into the yellow to come out. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's not quite comfortable as he wanted. Put a bit of top on that, maybe. But ball in hand to Ian Stringer. With the yellows. He's got a blank. It's not, not pretty. It's not. But it's it's not impossible to get on. No. Obviously, getting this awkward little one out of the way first. Then probably the one nearest the pocket as we're looking at it next. Yeah. He could take it off the red, maybe. Take the shiller off the red. I'm not sure there's enough of the red there to do that. Yeah, I don't know myself. Well, I know. You know, you know what? That shot is actually on. Yeah, he can play this off the red. Yeah, and they yeah, said I couldn't. Open it up. They said I couldn't play. They said. Well, as I said earlier, I refer previous statement. Seeing the shots is one thing. <laughs> What are you saying? You're saying I can't play him. That's what you're saying, isn't it? That's what you're saying, isn't it? That's what you're saying. That words never really left my lips. Uh, yeah. I think he's missed a trick there, though. I think that was the shot to play off the red. Yeah, just gentle, wasn't it? Just gentle and flick the red. He might, he might be looking to leave an angle to come across the table to play it short. Is he straightish on this? a little bit straight on this. I think he could probably generate a bit of angle, but I think he, can... I think he could generate a bit of angle on this, but again, yeah. he's just he's left himself with a problem black. But unless he's he 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 accepts a double on the oh, not even I think he's gonna top it through and accept a long black to top left uh, top right. I think that's what he's gonna play. He's gonna come across the table, yeah. leave the cue ball between the reds and play the black up the top right. Okay. Hey, how about this mate? How about this? It's, it's, he's probably left himself probably a double. Now. double than he's probably a, left himself a double yeah. now. Because I'm, not sure, I'm not sure he played for the double, but no, he, he, to be fair, he played an area, didn't he? Yeah, to nail right, that yeah. would have been some shot. I think he's playing it in the middle, you know, and he's only got half a pocket if he's playing it direct in the middle. 
Unless he's going long, is he going to the top? I'll tell you what, that is a fantastic shot. A fantastic shot. <laughs> and that's giving it <laughs> And that's letting everyone know who won. That's the Falconwood winning by eight frames to two. Well played to Falconwood, bad luck to the Rugrats. Um, we're going to do a bit here, uh, correct the scores for you. Teams are shaking hands. Um, we'll let them do their business and then we'll get in and take some photos. We might we have, to have a, a word with the captain, possibly. Uh, hands out, hands out. So we'll keep it running. Mind the wires, Chris. Mind the wires, son. Uh, we'll let them shake hands and I'll just see you. Uh, So, Falcon Wood, new name on the trophy, Silver Sable winners. Uh, they've won £50 for, uh, for their efforts. The Rugbats look back on this, they might, might see a bit of disappointment that they haven't really got into the match. Like yeah, they, they, like they, to, they could have played a bit better than that. I mean. Take nothing away from the Falcon Wood, they've done what they need to do. Just gonna try and see if uh, we can get the photographs and the uh, maybe a word with someone from the winning side. Right, we'll see if I can have a word with the um with the winning captain, see what he's got to say. I'm going to stand in front of that table. I'm going to be a bit gentle with it, so I don't lose the camera. I've always wanted to be interviewed by Mr. Chavis. <laughs> now I'm I've got to talk you through the right. break dishes and everything. Now we ain't got I no break mind. dishes. I ain't got to break no dishes. <laughs> so, um, excuse us first, we'll be two seconds. You can play all night then. Um, well done, mate. Um, Thank you. It's not the first, well, the first big trope the Falcon would have won. You've won a, a few divisional oh, yeah, things, but this is the first. You've never won a cup before, have you? Yeah, we've, it's, I think we've won this one before against... Um, um, hey. No, you won the League Cup. League Cup. Okay. So I'll stand correctly because you have won something half, half decent in the past. You just in my era, it's, so, um, the, uh, it's the first win. So uh, very, very you, pleased. You, you played well tonight. You guys you must be pleased with that. You put them to the sword, didn't you? Good win. People stepped up. We, we You're in the way of the camera, well. my old mate. Yeah, you ne you'll never get. Neff will never get on the BBC, will he? Yeah. Is, he's not in the way of the camera. He's got his back, back of his head to it as well. Um, Ian, nice black to finish with. We didn't think that black win. 
well, I'd, I'd, I thought if I, could, if I could get it over the other side of the table, I had a choice of two pockets. And, um, we, we thought the double was on more than the thing, but I mean, you played it beautifully. Was that a full pocket to, to go out? Three quarters of the pocket, yeah. Oh, good enough for you, mate, isn't it? But three quarters. That's, I did put a that's word huge. in the gears to let him know it went. huge. <laughs> three quarters of a pocket for Ian, like, you know? Um, tonight. I, thought, I thought the Rugrats were a bit off, a bit off par. Gave yeah. you chances. Not, not, not saying anything like you guys, because you guys played well, but they made a few. They made a few mistakes, didn't they? I think so. I think they could have been a lot closer. But yeah, good credit you guys. And, yeah, you dived in, didn't you? You dived in, like you know. Yeah. So um, That's good stuff. I guess so, you're all pleased with that. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we'll get your name on the trophy, fellas. Well done, and we'll call it a day. Thanks very much, Gav. And we'll we'll play with beating us in the semi as well. But uh, well, yeah. play, well played, well played, <laughs> well played tonight for winning the final. Congratulations. Well, well done, fellas. Well done. Well, thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, we're going to wrap up there. Hopefully, you um, you heard that you could hear and see us on a uh, few words of Ian Stringer and uh, Jamie White from the Falconwood. Uh, we're going to wrap you up there. We'll see you next week for the real big one, season finale. Founders Cup final between um, Hot Shots and the Sharks. That would be an absolute crackerjack of a game. Um, hope you've enjoyed this one tonight. Um, we'll see you all again soon. Richard, what do you reckon? Yep, I'll be here next week. He'll be here. He won't be in a commentary box. So whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, from his point of view, it'll be a good thing. From, the, from our point of view, who knows? But uh, yeah, it should be a good game. So say good night, Richard. Good night, Richard. Yeah, good night, Richard. We're off now. Take care, everyone.